Well, now, look, I wanted to talk to you both about content marketing mm -hmm. and YouTube channels. Because uh, tonight at the Citygate Hotel, Digital Exeter are having uh, a series of talks. Um, there's a bit of socialising will go on as well, I imagine. But the talks are about uh, content marketing. And then um, I, I think there's a gaming channel on YouTube, which is actually getting lots and lots of views. And I, I, I thought we should uh, try and understand what it is they're talking about. Because we've been sort of doing content marketing in that we've put um, we've put bits and pieces of the show here and there, haven't we? Chris, how, how long do you think we've been putting up archive of the show um, on, online? About a year and uh, about three years. And how do you have any statistics, any analytics? about how many people listen to the radio as it's broadcast and how many people are listening to it online? No, do not have any of that information, Will. So we've got nothing, because um, ahead of this, this meeting this evening, I, I, I started to, to, to look at a questionnaire and I gave up, because that's the sort of question they're asking <laughs> us. So I'm afraid we've got naught out of ten already. Okay. We have been unable to fill in the first question. We have no no information at all about the um, the numbers involved. Well, not on my uploading, but we do have actual figures. Actual figure. What figures do we have? The FM and web stream. Yeah. They say. Between 5,000 people a week, about 5,000 people a week. Well, this is where I get confused about what is, what is content marketing and what is actual product. Because people are listening to the web stream and more or less listening to radio, aren't they? That's, that's basically what we do. Yeah. If they listen to the archive of it or clips from it, because I put up some clips on YouTube, the the good bits, when we get um, a bit of conversation that makes some sense. Yeah, <laughs> it happens that's every very other... rare. <laughs> well, thank you, JT. <laughs> you feature in most of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're still looking for it. <laughs> well, yeah. So you you you're normally the one who says mm, we'll come back to this or so forth. But anyway, um, there can be little bits and pieces. Um, and other radio stations do this a bit better, I think, must be said. Um, they put out clips uh, which can be linked on Facebook and maybe can tweet it about and so forth. So that, that, that is content marketing, I think. But J, JT, you might have more numbers because you, your show, the Voguing 80s show, which will be going out tomorrow night live, uh, if you survive Black Friday, I don't. What? I don't. Survive you're not going to go. You're not going no, no, to be in any. It's Black Friday. You won't go out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. But, <laughs> I'm buying myself in. But assuming you get as far as Silhain down some discreet country, I shall roads. get to Silhain twice tomorrow. Oh. Mm. So, do you have any idea who? And so that just to explain, the, the Voking Eighties show will go out on Spreaker. Yeah which is a, an online radio conglomeration. Mm -hmm. And some people will listen to it live. Mm -hmm. So we'll describe that as, as the product. Mm -hmm. Other people will listen to previous versions of it later. Yeah. And I think we should point out that each of your shows is completely different to any previous 80s show. Right. So for the purpose of this argument, there's content marketing and then there's product. Right. But do you have any analytics? Do you have any data? Um, I, well, the only data I've got is I look on Spreaker where it's put and I get a sort of rough idea of, of how many listen to on the actual night and then my audience seems to increase over the weekend right? and then they're exhausted by, <laughs> <laughs> by Tuesday I notice and they have to have a cup of coffee yeah so it, that's the only way I can tell it's on Spreaker right so my last show was 286 people or downloads, or should I say, listening to my show. Right. So that's all I know. 
It could be it, 286 penguins. <laughs> anything, you know, I just don't know who's listening to my show. I don't, I don't want to know. You don't need to know. I just, it doesn't I, I, just, I just love doing it, and that's the thing, you see. So, so to me, you know, that sort of thing, having to know who's listening to what. Right. But if you get, if you get a comic come back on, on somewhere in line, then you know you're doing a good job. That's what I feel. So you, you just depend on the feedback? I, I, no, I, don't, I, I depend on actually doing the show, really. <laughs> you know what you want to do. Yeah, I know. And you just I, get on with it. I just get on with it. And I just enjoy doing the show. So, do you, do you regard any of it as promotional? So, one show is a promotion for the next show. Is probably, that right? Most, well, most people like, liked this week's show, so they'll probably listen to next week's show. Yes. Yes, well, that's right. Your own shows, yes, that's right. It's a sort of a, like somebody's listening one week and probably think, oh, that's good, I'll listen to it next week. But they could actually listen to it over and over again anyway. So it's not actually live radio like Phonic FM, like we're doing right now, where they can't actually listen to it again. And is that a good thing or bad thing? We don't really know. No, this is live <laughs> FM radio. Mm. So there's no way of actually saying, oh, I can listen to that again, like on any of the BBC websites. No, there's no listen again. No, no listen again. So, But there are little bits and pieces that turn up here and there. Yes, that, that, but that's up to the people doing it. OK. Well, I think that's as far as we can go with it, really. Yep. That, so I, don't, I, I think it's not surprising to me I couldn't fill in the questionnaire. Does that warrant Because um, my, a... my point of view is pretty much the same as yours, really, that we're not... Right. We haven't got a content marketing strategy. Nope. No. We don't really know that much <laughs> about it. We don't have it, a programme. But, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> We've yeah, got a very good programme. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to play another track now. Oh, and yes. we'll, come back, we'll come back to the conversation la later on. Um, this, this is um, uh, a new single by Tom Jones. It's called Honey, Honey. Honey. <laughs> 